one simple observation and you can solve the same main problem in less than 10 seconds this integral is given to us right the value of this integral is pi by 6 and as you can see that the lower limit for integral is alpha upper limit is ln 4 then we need a quadratic equation whose roots are e raised to alpha and e raised to minus alpha now the general method of solving this problem will be that first we need to evaluate this integral equate that to pi by 6 and from there get the value of alpha once we get alpha then we can find the quadratic equation with these two roots now to solve this integral the general method will be that in place of e raised to x minus 1 we can write t square right if we do this substitution replace e raised to x minus 1 with t square then we can evaluate this integral but this method will easily take at least 3 minutes right now here in this video i'll explain another interesting method of solving this particular problem where you do not have to actually evaluate this integral in class 10th we learned that if we have a quadratic equation of this form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and the roots of this quadratic equations are x1 and x2. Then we know that x1 plus x2 sum of root this is minus b by a and product of root x1 into x2 this is c by a. Now here if you notice these two numbers e raised to alpha and e raised to minus alpha these two are reciprocal of each other which will imply that if we need a quadratic equation with these two roots then product of root x1 into x2 this will be e raised to alpha into e raised to minus alpha and this has to be c by a now product of this will these two will be one so that means c by a must be one which will imply that c and a these two must be equal so therefore for the required quality equation the coefficient of x square and the constant term must be equal this is the condition for reciprocal roots right now here if you notice there is only one option in which coefficient of x square and the constant term is same right you can see that in option b c and d these two are not equal only in option a coefficient of x square and constant term is same so therefore the right answer for this problem will be option a and in j main you will always find in every paper at least three four problems you will find where by observation you can get to the correct answer